As times goes on, you discover that if you cannot change them, they will change you. Amen. Amen. So that they will not condemn me. Let me just do it. So that they will not talk about me. So that I will not be a topic of the discussion. Let me just do it. You know, I know who I am in the law. I know who I am. But let me just do it. Gradually, you are one step. You are getting drunk and drunk and you are going down. That is why you must put your ear. You must incline your ear to the things that edify your body, to the things that edify your soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why when you say, oh, somebody passed by, let's have somebody passed by. Gradually, when you see somebody who is passed by, it is not an instant thing. That is why you must be very, very careful what you hear. When you tell people, don't talk, control your anger in the church, they don't understand. When you are in the church and you cannot control your anger, you talk anyhow and somebody becomes angry. The person, because of that anger, the person will stay out of church. That is the beginning of our sliding. Amen. Amen. The person will stay out. What happened? One week, you don't see the person. Two weeks, you don't see the person. People will go and tell him words of our mouth. What are we saying? The use of our words. People will call, call him or her. That church, don't go there again. That is how they talk to people anyhow. Don't even see the pastor of life said. He don't know how to respect people. And she does not even know how to talk. Don't you see the pastor? Every time he's like this, see the elder. He wants to show. See the Nicholas. He wants to be the one that is doing this. As you are hearing the words, the monster in you is growing. Why? Because they are feeding that monster with their words. They are feeding the monster. And as the more you give your ear to them, the, the more the monster in you is growing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And before you know it, it will be once upon a time I was a deacon in that church. Don't you know when I was in Nigeria, we were the founder of, of Omega Ministry. Who are you to talk to me? You become less irrelevant. Why? Because you incline your ear to the things that does not benefit your spiritual life. Amen. Amen. You must have a sound mind. Sound mind. Because it's only with sound mind that you can use to serve God. In this journey of Christianity, there are so many things that can distract you. Amen. Amen. Even as pastor's wife, there are so many things that can distract you. As pastor's wife, your husband can even be the person doing things to distract you. Are we following? Mm -hmm. As an elder, your own pastor, your head pastor can be the person offending you almost every time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He will be the one to say things that will offend you. I might be the person that will say things that will offend you. But is that enough for us to stay away from church? For us to begin to use our tongues to the glory of the devil? No. All of us, we all have our weaknesses. All of us. We all get angry one time or the other. But the Bible says, be angry but sin not. It can destroy a whole body. It can destroy a whole church. The tongue can destroy companies. The tongue can destroy marriage. If you are a woman in this house, if you are a man in this house, if you must keep your home, if you must keep your home, this thing I'm saying, I'm not just saying because I want to say it. And I pray that as many that are listening to me, they will take this thing very, very serious. If you must keep your home, you must learn how to tame your tongue at all times. Whether the man or the woman. I was with a brother two, two days ago in the night. Because the truth remains that, you see, what we 
don't understand is that we're using our throne in our marriages. Whether the man or the woman. We think that it is the woman who is the problem. Or we think that it is the man who is the problem. No, the man or the woman, they are not the problem. There is, there is an enemy of what is called marriage that is manipulating you to use your own hand to destroy that marriage. Because that marriage is an institution. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because they are going to make you to feel that, oh, if I destroy this one, I'm going to get a better wife. If I destroy this one, I'm going to get a better husband. But the truth remains that that demon that is using your tongue, if he uses you to destroy one, he will use you to destroy the second one. Because the problem does not lie between you or the man. The problem is in the power of your tongue. Mm. So that is why when you, when you learn how to tame your tongue, the problem will be resolved in the first one. You will not have reason to move to the second one. Mm. Is somebody following me this morning? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we must learn at all times how we use our tongue. And God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. The tongue is used to convert, convince, motivate men into action and also to calm down emotions. Every beast has been tamed by mankind, but the tongue can no man tame. But Jesus, man, has tamed. But it is difficult without Christ to tame the tongue. That is why the word of God says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You will not be able to tame your own tongue by yourself alone, by your own knowledge. You need the continually flow of the word of God. You see, as this message has today, probably if we have offended our wife before coming to church, when we go home, with this message we will not that we have wronged her. We will go home, we will make amendments. There are many of us who are here and maybe we have talked to our husband in the way that we feel now that was not good. When we get home, when we call our husband, whether directly or indirectly, <laughs> it all works for the glory of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You discover that you will, you will, you will try to divert that anger. You will try to calm down that situation. That is what the word of God does. That is why the word of God says that faith comes by hearing. As you continually to hear, you, be, you continually to understand your area of your weakness. Then you will now continually to put in the right measure on how to control the situation. But if you do not hear the word of God at all, it is very, very dangerous. It is very, very dangerous. May God help, help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you use a tongue to slander a sister or a brother in the spiritual realm, you have killed that person. So it is not until you have, you have a knife in your hand and you stab the person and say, oh, the person is dead. You can kill with your mouth. May God help us in Jesus' name.